Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Richmond, the former youth pastor who faces several charges of sex offenses against a child is heading to court. I couldn't find a Bane, Poison Ivy or a Joker threatening the town. And believe me, I looked everywhere. Part of the training includes putting on this suit to help dogs learn the less sensitive areas to bite. Many new security systems let you monitor your home wherever you are, right through your cell phone. If drivers do get too impatient and decide to pass the school bus, this little camera right here catches your license plate number. Some people I talk to around town say when it comes to your personal social media, your posts and your selfies, well, that's your business. Right now, it's only legal for the Mississippi River Distilling Company to give people two samples. I'm live in Tallahassee right now where tens of thousands are still without power, intersections, homes and businesses still in the dark. Police just left the scene moments ago. They've been investigating this shooting since 7:30 tonight. That did burn. That did burn. It's the last thing Carolyn and Jasmine Clark thought they'd be doing after school on a Friday night. Taking stock of what's left of their life. I had a bunch of collectible items. They got broke. The girl's father did not want to talk on camera. He says he's still in shock. He tells me he cleaned up their yard and burnt the brush about a week ago. The fire was out, but the ashes were still smoldering when the wind picked up just enough to light up the dry grass. The only person home at the time was a family friend. He was sleeping right here at the front of his camper when he woke up because he smelled smoke and felt hot. He looked out the window and saw the flames rising. The Clark's family friend got out all right and the fire stopped just inches away from the main house. But the destroyed shed held many family heirlooms and pictures. Some are salvageable, many are not. I was actually upset crying. I mean a lot because my grandma's dead and she was actually basically my mom. It's a frustrating process sorting through the mess. But unlike the dark soot covering their hands and what's left of their family keepsakes, the girls are trying to see the bright side. I'm just glad none of our picture books got burned because it has a lot of memories in it. Cherishing the memories and hanging on to what's left. In Tallahassee, Ashley Richmond, WTXL ABC 27. We always wore the best helmets, the best shoes. Christine Rieger says her husband, Steve, was well known in the cycling community. He'd been riding since 1998. Steve was competitive, but not careless. He always knew that I worried when he went riding, so he was always home at 7 at night. But on March 28, 2017, Steve wasn't home on time and he didn't answer his cell phone. At 7.30, Christine got in her car and started driving, looking for her husband on the roads near their home. About five miles away, she came up on a barricade. So I knew then that, that he was involved, but I didn't expect the worst. The worst is what happened. Steve was hit by a car on US 90, just past Wadesboro Road. He died almost instantly. As I was standing there, one of my dear friends had driven up and had her arm around my shoulder. And it was, it, for a long time, it, it was just hard to wrap my head around everything that had happened. Now a memorial on the side of the road bears Steve's name, a reminder for his friends, family, and other drivers about how quickly a life can be taken away. Christine worries about distracted drivers. She wants others to know that when you're on the road, it's not just your life on the line. Cyclists are allowed the same laws on the road as cars. And I know people get in a hurry and they don't want to wait, but we need to be more kind to others. School shootings are terrifying, devastating, and now more common than ever in the United States. A group that keeps track of school shootings says since 2013, there have been at least 290, an average of almost one school shooting a week. This issue is hitting home for folks in Florida after a 19-year-old shot and killed 17 people in Parkland. That fear has students, parents, school employees, and lawmakers desperate for solutions, no matter how controversial they appear. I just saw 
so many terrified children screaming and running from the building. Teachers, students, faculty, and families in disbelief and horror as gunshots rang out through Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on Wednesday, February 14th, 2018. Jamie took a bullet and is dead. I, I don't know what I do next. I just saw my daughter, cold as can be. She is gone. When it comes to school shootings, actual solutions have been hard to come by. Now people throughout the U.S., including the students from Stoneman Douglas, are demanding change. Children died. Like, it doesn't matter what, what side of the gun control argument you're on, like, people are dead. There's much more that can be done, much more that needs to be done, and much more that people like Marco Rubio and Rick Scott are not doing. One lawmaker who is doing something, Florida State Senator Dennis Maxley. This could be the difference between whether we have an incident or we have a massacre. The Republican lawmaker sponsors Senate Bill 1236, simply called school safety. Right now, it's illegal to carry a gun on school property in Florida. This bill would allow school officials to let trained armed volunteers, like teachers, bring their concealed carry weapons into the classroom. It seems unfair to me that we ask school administrators and teachers to be responsible for the safety of our children, but yet we totally eliminate any opportunity for there to be an armed response to an armed intruder. Being responsible means not letting just anyone bring a gun into a school. Under this bill, employees would have to get approval from the principal or district superintendent before carrying a gun on campus. Senator Baxley believes having guns in classrooms could stop a violent situation sooner. And there's always a time delay, particularly as you get to more rural schools. It might be 45 minutes before someone could actually be there to help you. And what we find with studying these permit holders is they don't shoot people. What they do is demonstrate to a violent person that they will resist and they leave. And so we avoid a violent conflict. The bill was scheduled to be heard by a Senate committee on Tuesday, February 20th, but was pulled the Friday before. Bills similar to SB 1236 have been filed in four other states, according to the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence. The center's legal director, Laura Cataletta, says the idea of a hero stopping a shooter sounds good in theory, but rarely works in real life. The Department of Homeland Security and the FBI have advised that in an active shooter situation, Untrained civilians should not engage the shooter. They tend to put themselves or others in more danger. In the past, civilians trying to respond to such events have missed um, and injured innocent bystanders. 18 states already allow adults to carry a loaded gun on school grounds with certain permissions. It's not just about safety, it's also about cost. Senator Baxley says arming teachers that are already on the payroll is cheaper than hiring special armed guards. Cataletto worries it's not as effective. When you're a law enforcement professional, you spend every day focusing on keeping the public safe. If you're a teacher or, you know, a principal, your main job is something completely different. And so, you know, to arm them and expect them to be able to do the work of a law enforcement officer is is not sensical. We asked local school officials what they think about the bill. Gaston County Schools Superintendent Roger Milton tells me he would not be comfortable with anyone except local law enforcement carrying a weapon on one of his campuses. He's worried that if a gun is not properly secured, it could fall into the wrong hands. We also asked parents what they thought about this issue. Dozens left comments on our Facebook page. Kimberly Bartlum wrote, why is this a debate? Armed guards should have already happened, and absolutely teachers should be able to protect our children and themselves. Rosewood says in part, armed, no. What needs to happen is funding and talks against bullying, isolation, and hate. If you look at the countries that do not experience the number of mass shootings that we do, they have very strict gun laws. The more guns that we have will not protect us. Senator Baxley admits there's a long way to go before a bill like SB 1236 can pass. First, he says he's focusing on a bill that would let people concealed carry at churches and other places of worship. If that passes and goes well, he hopes it might ease some of the worry around letting guns on school campuses.